society as being one Aboriginal person in the Queensland Parliament. The Queensland Parliament uh, first came together back in uh, 1859. So in 150, 55 years, 155 years of parliamentary history, there's only been a single Aboriginal person sitting in that Queensland Parliament. system. What's wrong with the health system? It's stuffed. That's what's wrong with the health system. And any other services that are out there. I'm sorry if there's religious people in this forum, but I'll tell you what, all those churches are taking all the money and making decisions for us. And if we don't marry up with them, we get stuff all. That's what we get. Nothing. So I don't even need their religion because I've got my own. I think Aboriginal and I have my spirit. And that's all I need. Thank you. Thanks for that. Uh, it's so important to challenge this bullshit narrative that's spewed at us from television and the government. And uh, it's uh, as we, I, I truly believe, as we enter another war back in the old Ottoman Empire region where Gallipoli happened, um, the Australians find their security in serving empire. That's how they feel secure. Whether it's British Empire, whether it's American Empire in Vietnam and Iraq and Afghanistan, or whether it's the Chinese Empire in the future, that's where they find their security. And that's the wrong place to look for security. Security in any society is based on peace and justice. And, and the, the, the primary injustice in this country uh, has been the exploitation and the killing and thieving of the indigenous people. And until that's seriously addressed, we're gonna be living um, you know, with the Union Jack and the flag or the American one can replace it or the Chinese one eventually. We'll have no independence. We won't be mature. Uh, we won't be acting in an adult way. We'll just be following what comes out of DC and London. And we, so we're going to get rid of this day. This day is a day of shame, as is, as is Gallipoli. My mother had two uncles at Gallipoli that left from Inogra Barracks, came from North Queensland, uh, to fight for British imperialism in Turkey. Meanwhile, my father's parents were fighting with the IRA against the British Army. And it's important to go back into that family history and that mythology and deconstruct it. And it's not always pretty, but unless we do that, we're kind of wandering around in a stupor. 
Uh, it's re I'm really unaccustomed to speaking in Brisbane without being arrested by the Queensland Police Force. So thank you for giving me this experience. Thank you. Here, what this day represents to us. You know, the, the start or, you know what I mean, the, the attempt to wipe, to wipe out not only us, but our way of life, our law. Our law that binds us to all of our countries. But then you wandered forward to here and now, just over the last 12 months, because we have survived, because we are still here, look at these blatant attempts by the governments, state and federal governments, to keep us down, keep us out of sight, out of mind, to continue to oppress us. Last year we just had the government take $500 million off us. That they owed us, what I believe, should be there for us. They took that away. So all of our services, all of our Aboriginal services, Torres Strait Islander services, that old people fought for, that started, they now suffer. And when they suffer, we suffer, the people. The people who look for these services for help or for advice, for guidance. Here and now, we must say, we have to say, no more. No more will, will we allow the government, the corporations, to continue to hold us down, to keep us silent. My people, my brothers and sisters, we must rise. And rise as one. When we come here, like we always do, I see a lot of familiar faces here. We must get louder, that chant must get louder. Just hearing Brother Bo say that day, right here and now down in Melbourne, our brothers and sisters are occupying their day of celebration. We'll walk past South Bank soon. I'm down. I'm down. We mob down? Yeah. Carnies, you mob down? Yeah. Cause no more, no more will we allow this to happen. No more will we get kicked in the guts. No more will our old people roll in their graves. It stops with us. It's our turn. All my young brothers and sisters here, it is our turn. It is our duty. It is our obligation. Rise. My children go to school, they're still hearing about these early settlers. I say to my children, they aren't settlers, they unsettlers. They unsettled our country. They didn't explore our country. They got shown around. They had tour guides. These tourists, they were guided around our country. We are Aboriginal people. We still have our culture. I see a lot of these things up on our medias now and we're fighting, we're still fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. We've got to stand behind our mothers and our grandmothers when they're talking about education and, and health. These are the jobs belonging to our women. They should be there. They're taking the jobs off our people. They talk about us as lazy, silly buggers. We're not lazy. You just won't give us our jobs back. The jobs that we need. Our cultural jobs. We need our rights here to practice our culture. Where's the time to practice our culture? In front of a white man, in front of a tourist, going into a school, and there has to be a little white fella there to be able to teach. We have to plead to the government to get money to take our children out bush. Then we have to write in a report to tell them what we've done. The different sections of our culture that they need to understand. Not all of our culture we want to share with you. Just the past that we have to. We need to keep on fighting my people, fight for our times and our rights. Fight for our old people that are sitting there with that knowledge. Fight for them to be still be able to treat it with the respect. 
and to be paid the compensation that they need to be paid as scientists, as mathematicians. They are our environmental ministers. They are our education ministers. But they're getting pushed aside continually, continually and continually. And our children are still being treated and taught the wrong things throughout the school system. That's what I'm here to stand in front of you to fight for. For me, they keep on trying to fight, they make these boards up, they start all these different things. They try to find solutions, solutions, solutions. But the answer's always been there within our culture. The answer's always been there. No matter where they're trying to find them, they might look for the Bible, they might look for these white fellow laws, but our law and our culture has always provided it. Ever since the dream time, ever since the creation time of this country, when our Wundagari put us here, our rainbow serpent, the laws were here, the rights and the wrongs. And we all got to filter through all of this brainwash that they feed us and they feed us and they continue to feed us. I think for me, the culture is the key, and for all of us really, is to keep on fighting for our young people keep fighting for them to have opportunity outside of NAIDOC week through their schools. Outside of Invasion Day to come and be paid up for everyone. Outside of all of these other um, big days where it becomes just a routine to stand up to show our, to show our survival for everyone else. But we have to show our survival for ourselves and our own families to go and do property for our own families, to talk about these things around the table for our own families, not just wait for a meeting to happen for us to do it. It all starts at home. The education for our children, the love for our children. I come from the emu people. We will open the gate. As that's the crowd moves right. back, we'll open the gate. Oh, that's right. So this must be just so a white celebration. We'll burn the flag first and then we'll come down and hang on. Hey, I like this shit. That's a butcher's apron. Don't fucking touch the flag. It's our property. Hey, don't touch it. Move the gates over for you now. Here we go. Let's go. Burn the cut. Burn the cut. Join the group. That's a butcher's apron. Let everybody in. Okay, so we'll go through and out. Burn the fucking Union Jack out of the Burn the 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 Union Jack out of the Burn Aboriginal land! Always must, always will be Aboriginal land!